Hi everyone, this is I for this topic. I will simply introduce our delta s poc first output function for zero return, or we can say homing. You can see the system architecture for the power supply. We use a, a delta light two series. You can see this is the compact design uh, with a five amp output. Come to uh, POC and the servo wiring. We connect. Uh, DC24 to uh, pore high and uh, sink source of POC. Uh, C0 we connect to uh, power supply DC, uh, zero volt. Per signal uh, Y0.0 and Y0.1 we connect to servo uh, 41 and 37. Then come to uh, Z phase uh, we connect the signal OCZ uh, to POC input x0.2 and we have to define this z function uh, in the hardware config we will mention about this later and x0.0 we connect to the dock sensor or we can say home uh, sensor you can see this is the uh, instruction for zero return or we can say homing so uh, you can see we have uh, these symbols uh, S1 to S4. S1 means the homing for high speed, and S2 means homing for low speed. S3 is the homing mode, and S4 is the uh, dock signal or home uh, signal. And this example we use uh, X0.0. Uh, D means a uh, pulse output device. Here we use a uh, Y0.0. And as you see, for this one, uh, even we divide a uh, variable or symbol, but we still to assign the exact address. And you can see this is the explanation of our, uh, each ASIC uh, spatial register and spatial Y and device. So as I mentioned, uh, we use uh, Y0.0 and Y0.1. And this one we can check the status from a uh, spatial flag SM uh, 560 and 561. And we can check the current position from spatial register 460. Regarding a uh, dock sensor or dock signal, actually here we can use any uh, built in uh, input, but uh, as I already mentioned, we use X0.0 here. And you can see a uh, zero return mode or homing mode uh, S3. It's uh, actually a double wall, so you will occupy 32 bits for high, high words. Uh, it's, we can define the number of uh, Z phase or the number of uh, pulse. And for low words, it uh, basically starts from uh, move, move direction is uh, negative or positive. Then we can define the dock sensor signal is uh, normally open or normally closed. Then we can define the mode setting. So here you can see uh, we have a uh, 16 mode uh, from 0 to 15. And this example we use a uh, 3 as example. So we define uh, S3, simple, uh, simple 3 uh, in hexadecimal uh, 0, 0, Zero two or uh, zero zero three. So that means uh, you would find the two Z phase and move in negative direction, and dog signal is uh, normally uh, open, and then you will find the Z phase. So you can see the uh, sequence here. We trigger, uh, we enable this API instruction. So you will find the uh, dog sensor signal. Once this one become from uh, off to on and on to off, then you will search the Z phase twice and then complete the whole process. Then how to define the Z phase and the positive or negative uh, limit? We can uh, double click inside the hardware config. So then go to the position uh, control parameters. And this example, we use a Z phase. So we define X0.2 here. Uh, come to the final part of servo parameter. Uh, basically, we just use the default setting. And remember to change the control mode to zero. That means uh, uh, for pulse uh, control. 
And this example later will show you uh, when PFC, the output frequency is 100 kHz, then the modulus speed will equal to 100 kHz multiplied 60, then uh, divided by the uh, value over here. So that means uh, it will equal to uh, 60 RPM. So this is what I mentioned. So we have to define the homing mode first, then uh, we have to define the uh, dog sensor signal and pulse output. Then we can check the position, uh, current position. We can download the program. I switch online. Then we define 100k hertz over here. For the uh, jog frequency or low speed, we define 10k. Okay. Before that, we can uh, connect to servo. And read the parameter spec. Okay, so here we uh, set the P2, uh, 10, uh, to 1, so that will become servo on. Then we can open the scope. For the scope, we will select a command position, feedback position. Then we check the offset position. This one means the Z face. Z, Z and then a motor speed, a current, and the pulse command frequency. And then we can select the time scale, maybe to 60 seconds. Then we run the scope. And then we can trigger from uh, POC. So you can see once uh, it finds the Z phase, uh, the current position will become zero, and then we back to servo, stop the scope, and we can check. Uh, from the scope, uh, first of all, you can see the motor speed over here. Uh, at the beginning, we define uh, 100K, so that means that you will go to uh, 50 hertz. And then we define to uh, 10K, so it will become 6 Hertz. So, uh, sorry, 6 RPM. Then we can scroll down to check the uh, frequency command. So here you can see uh, from 100K to 10K. Just the, uh, but you will see the minus just the direction difference, okay? And then we uh, unselect, untip this one. And then you can check this is the position. And if you still remember, we use uh, the negative direction. So at the beginning, it moved in negative. But because uh, our defines uh, go to the opposite direction, so you will see from this one, it keep, uh, keep uh, decrease. And then uh, it will start to increase. And then come to uh, positive, oh, sorry, not positive, you will uh, change the direction to positive. And then you can see the uh, purple color, that means the Z phase. So once we uh, trigger, so you will find the uh, Z phase twice. And because uh, this uh, position is based on POC, so you will see the uh, feedback position is uh, not zero because uh, Everything based on POC, so you can see the current position over here becomes zero, and instead of a servo position becomes zero. And if you want to use the uh, positive or ne negative uh, limit uh, switch, so you can uh, refer more uh, detail from our user manual. So I hope this one can help you understand more about uh, homing uh, instruction. And for sure, if you don't know how to find this one, you can actually just uh, expand the API and click the high speed output. Okay, high speed output. So here you can see for uh, zero return. And next topic, I think I will introduce a, a incremental and absolute movement. So that's all for today. Thank you.